In this video I'm going to explain how to use the ESP8266 to make a secure socket layer connection to a server. When you make a connection to a server it, it uh, makes a TCP IP a transfer control protocol oblique internet protocol link connection between you the client and the server and it layers on top of that um, other protocols usually for HTML the hypertext transfer protocol and there are two variants non-secure and secure the S at the end denotes the secure variant so in the top example I'm connecting to the ESP8266 forum when it when the server responds it places HTTP as the header to denote this not a secure protocol so everything I type and converse with the server is freely readable by anyone monitoring internet traffic. Uh, when I connect to Google, any Google service, it's now only a secure socket layer connection and you have to make a HTTPS connection. So I'll be showing you how to go about making those connections to secure servers in the follow-on examples. And as usual, I'll place the examples onto the GitHub. So here I'm showing two examples of making a request to um, a server. Uh, I'm assuming that Google was not using uh, the secure protocol HTTPS and in the top example using the TCP IP model it has a source and destination IP address, some protocol data, how many whether this is a response or acknowledgement packet, uh, some more protocol data, some checksums and protocol link options. And then there's the data payload. And in the payload, you can read in clear text how far is it to the moon, because that's the question I've asked. And, um, and that can be read by anyone monitoring packets uh, on the internet. Below, using the HTTPS secure socket layer, the data packet, the payload has been encrypted using an 128-bit encryption algorithm and it cannot be read. So to begin with, how are we going to do this with the ESP8266? Well, I've written a very short example program of making a client request to Google uh, not using uh, HTTPS and I've asked Google the question, how far is it to the moon? And the, the bits in yellow are the bits that are, are crucial to the full-on example um, and so if you take that example from github compile it run it in the serial port serial monitor port you will see the response back from google which is a lot of html but you will see the answer how far is it to the moon in that response so just to note this is the default setting for a standard client server or client to client connection. Now in this example I've converted that same program to the secure socket layer version. You can see now at the top I've included a different library. It's called Wi-Fi Client Secure. I've changed the port number because all secure socket layer connections to a server um, by default anyway use port 443 and the object for the client communication is now called Wi-Fi Client Secure. Everything else remains identical. So you can see that it's actually relatively easy to implement a secure socket layer connection to a server that requires HTTPS only connections. And as I say, many do now. And if you run the example, you will get exactly the same result back from Google albeit it's a secure connection between you the client and Google and no one can read what the data traffic is. So here's a summary of the, the differences. So just to go over that once more that normal client server connections are, are not secure but many servers now require HTTPS uh, connections to be made. For example things speak um, Google if you want to get data from perhaps your YouTube account and I'll be showing a video on how to do that later you will need to implement SSL secure socket layers 
Um, the only difference is you need to include a different library, change the object definition to Wi-Fi Client Secure and use port 443. Otherwise your programs are identical so it's quite easy to implement. That's it folks. I hope you enjoy the video and you find it useful.